Wagwan people, we are back. Master League, Reggae Boy United, episode 55, brothers, that's how we do, 5-5. Five, five. And we're here against Roy Hodgson and his defensive team of old men. But you know what, we're on a roll, brothers. We can break down any team, even Roy Hodgson and his team full of false hips. We are back in this, brothers. So let's get it. Ten minutes into the action, we ain't messing about. We're getting straight into these things today. Nice little turn inside. We are charging away towards the Premier League title. Wacky Malaysia. Woo. Now again, if you win the Premier League this season and Champions League, the series is done. I guess I'll be leaving. That's what we're going about. That's what we're talking about, brothers. Uh, if not, maybe a season five. But I think, oh, Wacky Malaysia with the header. I think that'd be a good thing. I'm currently running three series on the go, plus a full-time job. I'm being a full-time dad. There's a lot of damn things going on, but I love Pez. But obviously getting these videos out and making sure you've got content it's tough getting them all out on time. So like I said, maybe kind of close this series up if we do win everything. If we don't win the Champions League or the Premier League, we'll go a season five. We'll try and win it. Nice little header from Spiral off the post. The way things are going, our form at the moment is looking good for the league. This is always going to be a tough place to come sell us part. My damn phone's ringing now. Unbelievable. People trying to ring me. Trying to gang all the time. All right. Nice little touch inside. I'm going to say it better be Gary Lineker inviting me to go and match the day this week. Nice little touch here. It's Colin Davis. Tries to curl one. But can't get it. Disappointing. All right, Crystal Palace for half time. It's been nil nil here. We've had a couple of little chances, but it's always difficult to break down Palace away from home. I and mean, who is this guy? My goodness, the Count of Montague. <laughs> I've just come all the way from France to play you. What the hell is this dude doing? All right, let's get this going in the second half. Here's a chibi. Out wide to Riley Evans. It's been all us, all possession, as you can tell from the highlights. Crystal Palace haven't done a damn thing apart from show up and bring the boots. Nice little turn again from Wacky Malaysia. Look at the defensive line from Palace. That's a flat back five with the two in the side, though. But here's Darius Wason around the keeper. And the post denies us again. Could be one of those days, bros. It could be one of those days. In the first season of Premier League, we always, always drew against teams like this. But recently, we've been beating the likes of these Newcastle and Norwich. And beating the top six as well. Nice little turn in. Here's Spiral now. Can he get another turn? That has to go back out wide to Riley Evans. He'll shoot the right back. Oh, the left back shooting with his right foot. My bad. I said he was a right back, but he could play right back to be fair, Riley Evans. Nice little turn inside. Here's Wilford Zaha. Palace might sneak a sneaky one. Shot from distance. And Silver T says, you've got to do a lot better than that to beat me, brother. You know what I'm saying? I've been goalkeeper since I was two. I was born with some gloves on. Can't do nothing like that. All right, let's see if we can return the favour. Get a shot off ourselves. It's the moment we've got less than half an hour and Crystal Palace are holding on like a bloody man hanging on to a cliff. Touch on. Nice. Here's Spiral. Go out wide again. Find Riley Evans. He does. Come Riley. Whip it in with the left foot. He does. He's got a back stick. Ah, cleared away again by Palace. Swear down. The old man of Palace are holding us off. But what a mistake. And Spiral's in. Oh. <laughs> For all of Crystal Palace he's defending. One of the old men at the back suddenly got cataracts in his eyes and couldn't see what the bloody hell he was doing and passed it out. I think it was Gary Cahill or somebody. Somebody that's over the age of 50 anyway lost their damn mind and <laughs> pretty much lost all their skills. What on earth is this? He passes it back here and this dude just goes, you know what? I'm a Reggae Boy United fan. <laughs> what in the Look at him clapping now. <laughs> He's clapping his teammates to push out. Bruh, you were the last man on the side. <laughs> You set them up. Even Sacco trying to slide in with his 44-year-old legs can't stop it. I can't believe that man had the liberties to applaud and then push his defenders out and blame everybody else for that pass. Oh my goodness. What a way to break Crystal Palace down, but we'll take it. We've had a few 1-0 winners this season, but nothing like that. But we'll take it. But here's what my Dino Jr. Put the seal on it, brother. Oh, good save. Bye. I would guess it's Hennessy. It could be Gandalf in goal, like all this, all this team is. I don't know, I've seen Bruce Forsyth at right back, so, <laughs> you know, know what Roy Hodgson's like, you know what I'm saying? If you're over 55, Roy Hodgson will sign you, trust me. Right, come on, let's move in, they've got three minutes to go. I don't fear Palace scoring, I really don't. So let's push on again, here's Romadinho Jr., can we lay it off somewhere? Nice little spin move back inside. There's Spiral again on the volley! Ah, just couldn't get hold of it before the defender was tackling. That could be the last chance of the game. Could we win it with that Spiral chance? All right, Palace have gone short for some reason. First time I've seen them go short. Ah, oh, there's the root one. That's what we used to. Trying to find Ben Teke up there. He ain't going to beat Ben Teke. He ain't going to beat my brother up. Unloving the air. And there we go. A 1-0 win for Reggae Boy United over Crystal Palace. Somewhat fortuitous, we'll say. 
Somewhat would say maybe it's one of them nice things that your grandparents do, you know what I mean? That was, that was a grandpa gift then from the left back at Palace. But you know what I'm saying, your grandma always sneaks you that £5 check once a year and says, hey, go treat yourself. Like, grandma, it's 2021, £5 don't even get me a bag of sweets anymore, man. Inflation, woman, learn your piece. All right, uh, sorry, that's a side argument with me and my own grandma. Don't worry about it, that's fine. I'll leave them issues at home. Let's get back to the football. So next on the agenda is Tottenham Hotspur. Now again, Tottenham are in, uh, I do believe, fourth place in the league. So they are in there. To be fair, though, it's us, Liverpool, Man City for the league. And then there's about six or seven teams all battling for that fourth place. place. Just trying to make sure they don't end in the Europa League. I think I'd rather finish 10th than be in the Europa League, to be honest. But if we beat Tottenham here at home, then, my goodness, we're going to be odds-on favourites to win this league. We then play Man United at Old Trafford as well after this. And again, we're boxing off the games. Become tag champions hopefully early. Here's Navoy. Little spin move from the pole. Oh, just couldn't get it out. And Regulon can't clear it though. Here's Wakim Elijah. Shimmy shake. Beautiful. Left foot. Oh, Wakim Elijah. The silver fox. The Jamaican Philip Schofield. My goodness. He's done it again. Wakim Elijah. What a season this brother's having. And he steps up somewhat amazingly. And gets his goal. Look at this little shimmy. Regulon, what the arse are you doing? Tackled by Wacky Malaj. And then, oh, drops the shoulder. My goodness. Didn't like Ashley Banjo from Diversity. He just shimmied one way. Shaked another way. I think he just combobulated this guy's hip. Look at this. You can hear the actual bones grinding this guy's hip. Watch this. My goodness. This is half right. It's coming up right now. Ah! You can hit. Look at my goodness. Out of the world. <laughs> You'll need a walking stick, brother. Wacky Malaj just tore you a new one. 1-0 one United. Six minutes in. Oh, we'll take that. All right, here's Deli Ali to Lucas Mora. Deli Ali decided to come play today. He's playing playing Fortnite all week, but Mourinho said, you know what, come play. Here's Nico Williams, fresh from Liverpool. Son Mignon turns, but Nazim again. Oh, beautiful. Nazim with the challenge like he's Berezi himself. Nice little spin move from Navoy. Navoy with the spin move, and here's Wacky Elijah again, dancing down the wings. What can he do this time? Wacky Elijah shimmies in again. Oh, he's done him twice, and he's done the keeper twice. Oh, -hoo -hoo. Oh, fool me once, shame on you, fool you twice, shame on you again, Tottenham. Oh my, did you not learn from the last time? This man is Strictly Come Dancing champion five years running. Look at that spin move. That's ballroom. That's Latina ballroom for you right there from Joaquim Elijah. Oh my goodness, what a move. Even the keeper can see it from miles away coming forward. Joaquim Elijah bursting past Regulon. Cuts inside, and this brother comes across. Oh my, what what the, what kind of challenge was that, Sanchez? Oh my goodness. And Mourinho's men find themselves 2-0 down to Wacky Elijah. All right, five minutes to go till halftime. Tottenham literally have been as much use as a chocolate fire guard. You know what I mean? As much use as a fart in a spacesuit. They've been terrible today. It's, it's, not, it's not good. It's not good from their part. Nice little block again, great defending. But Mourinho, honestly, man, Mourinho and tactics are getting old now, bro. I'm getting old as your face, man. You look like Mr. Bean on crack. Mourinho, you need to change it up. All right, okay, Malaysia again, just dancing. I told you the guy was strictly come dancing king five years in a row. Tottenham, unfortunately, clear the lines, though, and a half-time whistle blows. And Reggie Boy and I had a 2-0 up. And from 12 minutes on, I've been beasting and feasting. And we beat Tottenham comfortably at the moment, looking like kings. All right, long clearance up, blocked away. Here's Riley. Ball played through Juventusly. Nicely done to Spiral. Inside, here's Manny. Back again to Kuzaki. For some reason, I called him Spiral earlier, but here's Spiral now. Oh, the Spaniard took him for the shot. Deflected through. Navoy flicks it on. Here's Juventusly. Can curl one. Oh, inches wide. Woo, I'm talking an old lady's monobrow wide there. Nice little ball forward, though. Here's Bergwijnen. Should be a rapper, really, with that name. What a buy now. Touch inside. Here's Riley. Purple hair and all. Kuzaki, the mad Finn. There is a warrant out for his arrest in Finland, but don't tell anybody. All right, back inside again. Chutch in. Beautiful. Back outside. Okay. And again, ball played through. This is nice football again. Here's Navoy. Plays it through. Spiral. Is he shades of offside? No. Hits it and just wide. And to be fair, we could have been 2 or 3 nil up against Tottenham. Missing out on these things, man. Uh, okay. Tottenham now on the rise. 15 minutes to go. Reggie Boy United looking good so far for their money. Ball played in. Here's Deli Alley. Turns it back to Undombly. Oh, intercepted there, Dernin. Oh, come on, referee. That's a fair challenge from Dernin. What? You go, oh, look at Dernin's face. What? Really, bro? Right, you wait outside, man. Me and you in the car park, bro. I'm having you. Wacky Malaysia, I'm having nothing to do with this. <laughs> Dernin and Dernin, the referee, are going to have each other in the car park. 
my goodness, it's gonna be epic. Uh, and to be fair though, it will be twenty four ninety nine on Sky on the, you know, what I mean, on the pay per view. You can't you can't just watch Durning fight for free. You gotta watch that. You gotta pay for that kind of crap. You know what I'm saying? All right, last minute. One two nil up. I'm gonna say one then, but we're two nil up. Three minutes to go. Here's Fusu Mensa going nowhere. The Mad Finn says, not today, brother, not today. Go and play it long. Nicely done to Romadinho Jr. Ball played through. Rocky Elijah, touch on the void. Oh, bars out the way. And to be fair, for all our possession and Tottenham's absolutely crapness, we only end up with a 2-0 win, but we'll take it. Three wins, hopefully coming up. We've got one more game, but so far, two out of two. Six points in the bag. And Wacky Elijah can chill. And they can now do a little handshake with Nazim. Clean sheet for the brothers at the back. Two goals for Wacky Elijah. Reggie Boy United march on again. Honestly, brothers, I can sense them title winning medals coming soon. I really can. All right, let's check out the other results. So mainly we're looking at Man City and Liverpool. Man City lost 3-1 at home. Uh, Liverpool drew 2-2 at Everton. So that does give us now quite a little bit of a lead. Now we do have an eight-point gap between us and Chelsea. Where the hell did... No one mentioned Chelsea since back in the day. Where the hell did Chelsea come from? Next thing we know, we'll be talking about Ballmouth in 11th to come in second. All right, okay. Now, we can end Man United's dreams of a title here. We're at Old Trafford. Let's see what we can do. There's Slaphead, Harry Maguire. E-ball got, he got more head than he got body. But we can do it, you know what I mean? I mean, if there is ever going to be like another Noah's Ark kind of flood, kind of biblical thing ever in the world, we all just need to sit on... Harry Maguire's forehead and the world will be safe. Two by two, and the animals came and sat on Maguire's head and the world survived. I mean, this guy could cause an eclipse walking down his own damn street. I mean, this guy could hire his head out for a cinema, maybe even a bouncy castle for a holiday. This guy has a head that's bigger than the Arc de Triomphe. I mean, this guy alone has a head that looks like Stonehenge. I mean, this guy alone has a head that's bigger than a two-sized door frame on the front of the mayor's house. This guy alone you have to climb a ladder just to brush his eyebrows. I mean, this guy... <laughs> i got to stop before Harry Maguire gets some solicitors or something on my case. I've been lawyers at the door saying you've been served by the slaphead. I don't want to go to court with that guy. You know what I mean? Because every day, one day his eyebrow will come in. The other day, the next eyebrow will come in. His head can't fit in the door for one week. You know what I mean? We've got to... <laughs> that court case would last three months just to get his head inside. Right, i really got to stop now before I get in trouble. All right, here we go. Here's Chuck Weezy. Hey, hey, take it easy, Chuck Weezy. Ball into Bruno Fernandes. Tries to turn me. Don't even turn me, rat boy. There we go. And Silver T blocks it out. I'm not having that, United. We are the real United. Nice little ball in. Can Wakim Elijah get in there? It's Cruz Mitchell in there as well. There's Toshiku, though, on the edge of the area. Hit one, brother. Tries to cut inside. shiku has got a bit of room for himself. Toshiku. Hoo-hoo. Tan Fredder. And it's cleared out, though, to Malin. The Dutch striker. Out wide to take it easy. Chuck Weezy. Back in again. Bruno Fernandes tries to switch through. Silver T says, get it out of here. Having none of that. Navoy with a beautiful flick on. Spirals on side. Can we send him? We can. Here's Cruz Mitchell. Cuts inside. And Nick Mitchell. Oh, tries to go near post. And the key pull equal to it. And again, David De Gea is one of the few goalkeepers on this I rarely see being sold. The rest of the club seem to sell all their goalkeepers all the time. All right, nicely done by Wakim Elijah again. And Man United have pushed players forward. This is beautiful ball in. And Spirals on the other side. He's on his weaker foot though. Spiral shoots. Always heading wide. But again, another warning sign for Man United. Here's Malin to Rashford. Can they do anything now? Malin again. Take it easy, Chuck Wheezy. Switches out wide to Brandon Williams. Come on, get there, Colin Davies. Icy Lava's in there. And safety first, Ivy Lava. Safety first, brother. Okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's okay. All right, mark your men quick. Mark your men. Where the hell's he going? Don't follow him, Icy Lava. Let him go out there. Let him go out there, brother. He's trying to drag you out. He's the biggest defender we have. He's trying to drag you out. Here's Malin again. Lays it across. Put your bodies on the line. Put yourself on the line. Here's why I tell. Ah, oh, beautifully done, New Vensley. Mr. AD Raided gets the challenge in. Come on, drivers out. We might have a chance before half time here. Depends on the referee's going to be snide or not. Eventually driving through. We've got a four on three situation here. Man United are defending. Eventually all the time in the world. Ah, picks the wrong man. And Linder off in the end, lumps it away. Half time, it is nil-nil. No early goal like we do against Tottenham. We might have to do the same way we did against Crystal Palace. And try and find something out of nothing. But at half time, Man United nil. Reggae Boy United nil. Alright, come on boys. Half time team talk's been good. You know what I mean? We've had a box of Jaffa cakes each, a couple of Lucas Aids. We're ready to go. And other good sports drinks and food out there. Sorry, YouTube. I, 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 I apologise. I'm advertising, but I shouldn't be. Nice little head on Spiral. Uh, yeah, just let you know, YouTube. I've not received any kind of Jaffa Cakes or Lucas Aids in the world. Trust me, I ain't drinking that. 
All right, Mrs. Moogrew's free kick. 28 meters out. You know this guy's sweet like chocolate when it comes to these blooming free kicks. Come on. Over the wall. Hush of silence through the crowd. Oh, my goodness. He's done it again. The man that looks like Montel Williams on the talk show. The man that looks like Steve Harvey. The Mr. Smooth Grooves himself, Colin Davis. From distance. Oh, <laughs> sit your booty down, De Gea. You ain't touching that. You ain't going nowhere near that. Colin Davis with yet another beautiful free kick. We could just do a whole episode of montage of his free kicks, to be honest. Um, the only thing is I have to delete the videos after a while because my PlayStation ain't that big, so I have to delete the <laughs> stuff. I can't store that much stuff on there, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a ladder of videos. Like a few times, brothers said, do a goal of the month thing. And I, I, look, honestly, after about a week, I have to delete the videos. I have so many videos on there with three series. My PlayStation literally sweats. <laughs> it sweats gigabytes. It don't sweat sweat. It don't sweat sugar, salt, no, like it sweats gigabytes. So I need to make sure my PlayStation is clean. Nice little ball through again. <laughs> the game gets palmed away. I might not clear their lines. Uh, and it's a good thing, though, I'm doing the voiceovers afterwards because, like I said, it sounds like a jet engine most of the time. Oh, it's beautiful football again. Wakim Elijah blocked away. Can he get a second chance? Referee, come on, man. He surely got headbutted by Harry Maguire there. There was some kind of false identity going on. All right, nice to win. Here's Navoy. Only 1-0 here, 20 minutes to go. We've had United in cruise control. This Reggae Boy United team now is getting, is getting beasting. And I think if we carried on like six, seven seasons into it, we'd be seriously OP. We'd be OP trice. Here's Joaquin Elijah again going for the curler. And not enough to get around De Gea. All right, corner ball. Colin Davies will take it. Whips it in. There's Lamin Conte. It's two. Mr. South Africa, the man just coming off the bench today. Lamin Conte with his first touch says, this is too easy, bro. Take my damn picture. And Lamin Conte makes it 2-0 to Reggae Boy United. And my United find themselves with a mountain to climb. Beautiful ball in. Headed down by Lamin Conte. What the rass of the dude doing on the line? Is it Jones or Golovin? Phil Mitchell's there, the linesman. Ball comes in, Lamin Conte. And he turns his back. <laughs> Number four turns his back. Number four turned his back like his, his junk is made out of solid gold or something. Like he's got diamonds in his damn crotch. Brother, that ain't worth that much. Take the hit. Take the hit, man. If one of my players turn around out on the line, they'll be subbed. I don't care. Wear a box or something if you're worried. Don't turn around the line, but makes us tune up. I don't mind. Ten minutes to go. Come on, Darius Wayson. The blue Ronaldo. Can we get a third? Cutting down the line. They can't catch him. He lays it back. Navoy, it is three. Oh, my goodness. We've had my United's pants down. There's a new United in town. It's Reggae Boy United. Old Trafford is on fire. Oh, my goodness. Look at the away end. Ha, <laughs> ha, beautiful. The Wagwan massive in the corner. Oh, my goodness. There's barbecues on the go. There's people lighting stuff they shouldn't light. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, brothers. The smoke going around everywhere. My goodness, the wild ground massive in the corner doing their ting. Uh, somebody go and get me a pork chop and a hamburger from that barbecue as well, you know what I'm saying? We ain't messing about. You know full well, brothers. If we've got some Caribbean brothers in our way end, in the away crowd, you know full well we're barbecuing. We ain't going to a no stadium. We ain't, I don't care about your regulations. I don't care if you sell your own food, Old Trafford. We're bringing our own food and we're cooking some up, especially when we're 3-0 up. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go now. Let's get this win. Here's Augustine. Trying everything now. They've got Augustine at left back. I mean, come on, man. What kind of duke is going on here with your tactics? Lindorf, nice little ball inside to Harry Maguire. I apologize now, Maguire, again. I, I ain't got the kind of money to go to court with you, so don't take it. It's only jokes, bro. It's only, and that, I mean, if Harry Maguire ever came across this video, I mean, I'd be more shocked than you are. But there he is again. He can't believe it. He, he realizes now he's going to have to get a reversing wheel for his head. He's going to have to get one of them beeping signs. <laughs> Forehead reversing. All right, anyway, let's check out the results. Liverpool won 4 1 as well. So Liverpool and Chelsea still right behind us. Well, I say right behind us. They're eight points behind us. We've only lost one game and conceded eight all season. Take that to the bank, eh? And that's what I'm talking about. We've played 24 games. So there is 14 games to go. There is potential to be caught up. There is potential to have a little slip up. But to be fair, the way we're going, I don't know. Leicester City at home next. Uh, then we go to Ellen Road to, uh, for Leeds United. And we face Chelsea. We beat Chelsea. We win them two and beat Chelsea. I I'm going I'm to I'm say it's job done. I'm going to say it's a case of catching our points and job done. You know what I'm saying? But it's looking good so far, but it's looking good. All right, let's check out some uh, competition info. Let's see why the goals and stuff are going on this one. So again, brothers, um, we are progressing. We've had a lot of new sort of subscribers bigging up as well. A lot of people joining now. Thank you very much. We're on the road to 3,000. That's the aim now. 
Uh, I've been doing this two and a bit years, but the aim is 3,000 as soon as we can. But thank you, everyone, that's been doing it. Now, do me a big favor. Hit that like button. It takes you two seconds, but it means a massive deal for me and really helps the channel grow. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Wagwa, and welcome to the channel. But hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any videos on my channel. So here's your games and stuff like that. Naturally, some people play more games than others. I do play players that are more buzzing sometimes. But it is what it is. Pause it. Check out your players. And in the meantime, brothers, peace and love, brothers. And I'll see you on the flip side, which will probably be tomorrow for another episode. <laughs> peace. Say